In this video, we're going to look at how you can add assignments to your Moodle course. And by assignments, I mean opportunities for students to upload files to what is essentially a Moodle uh, homework Dropbox or assignment Dropbox. Now remember that we said that in each week you need to have learning content, you need to have an opportunity for interaction like a discussion or a Zoom meeting, and you need to have an assessment. And uh, many people use uh, uh, things like essays and uh, problem sets for their weekly assignments. The question is, how can you have students upload their assignments to a Moodle Dropbox or a Moodle assignment link? And that's what we're going to look at today. Note that in your course template, we have included um, uh, an assignment blank to each of your weeks. So we're going to look at how you can go ahead and just edit that so you don't even have to create a new one. And I'll show, show you also how you could create a new one if you need to. Remember that before we do any editing to your course, you always have to go up to the um, settings toggle in your top right and turn editing on. And you note that when you have um, gone into the editing mode, you see all of the editing toggles appear to the right of your Moodle content. So let's say that I had this geography assignment and the students had to write an essay um, following these three questions here. And I want them to upload it to me and I don't want them to send it to my email because it's just going to be impossible to track. What we do is we use an activity called an assignment. And as I said, we have created assignments in each of your weeks so that you only have to uh, go in and edit them. You don't actually have to create them, create them yourselves. And since this essay of mine was topic three, I'm going to go down and add it or I'm going to go down and edit the week three assignment. And as you would imagine, in order to edit it, I just click the edit button. So I'm going to edit settings. And once you do that, you see that the uh, assignment window is opened up. And the first thing that you always do is you um, customize the title. So this one is, what is a map? So I'm going to say week three assignment. What is a map? And then in the text here, I'm going to make it really simple. I'm just going to go and copy and paste everything that I have here and then just drop it right into the um, into the box so I don't even have to worry about typing it out. So there above is a picture of Northern Bahamas taking up space. Look at the picture and the writers blah, 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 blah. And the only thing that I'm going to add is when you are, sorry, upload your file. So upload your file to Moodle when you're complete by clicking on the submit button. I am not going to display this on the course page. I'm going to let them see it when they open it up. And I'm going to need to, to insert that picture of the Bahamas. So uh, I forgot to do that initially. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a space for it. I want to uh, insert an image. So if you, whenever you want to insert an image, you click this link here. And I am going to have to browse repositories and then I'm going to have to choose a file. And my picture is in pictures. Where is it? Let me just go to recent. And here it is Map of the Bahamas. That's the one I want. I'm going to upload that and okay there it is uh, you, you should always type in a description map of the Bahamas and I'm going to scale it down a little bit 
and align it to the middle. Save image, and now you see it appearing on my um, on my assignment page. I'm also going to unbold this. I don't need that to be bold. Good. And then I'm good to go with the actual text of the assignment. Now the next thing is to determine the dates for the assignment. And there are four dates that you can set. The first is when students can start to submit. I'm going to enable that and I'm going to say they can start to submit that from um, midnight tonight. Now remember that this is the 24 hour clock so midnight tonight is really 0000, 000, 000 tomorrow 18 March which being tomorrow. The due date I'm going to give them a week to do it so it's going to be midnight next week Tuesday so that's going to be the 25th. First of all I need to enable that set that to the 25th and again 0000, 000, 000 and then note that even though you put a due date they can still send it in after that date but it will just be marked as late if you want them to uh, have a date where after which they cannot submit it you have to enable the cutoff date so I'm going to give them uh, two days grace so I'm going to give them until the 27th March and Finally, you can also set a, day, a date whereby the system will remind you when to, when to uh, grade the assignment. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to pretty much be grading that right on the 25th. You can if you want. It's up to you. Um, now, the next thing is submission types. Note that there are two submission types, either online text or file submissions. If they do online text, the students will be able to actually type their answers directly into the screen and click save. If you have file submissions checked, they will actually have to upload a file um, to, to submit the assignment. I'm going to leave it to file submissions because that's what I've said in the assignment. And really those are the main um, options that you need to select. You can, you can also select um, submission settings and which will allow students to um, reopen the assignment or uh, other other opportunities submit more than once etc I'm just going to leave it as it is you can go in and explore those yourself and then save and return to course and once I do that I'll see that my assignment now for number three appears there, week three assignment, what is the map? If I, as the teacher, go and click it, it will take me into that assignment. And what I will see is um, just the title of it and an opportunity to view um, the submissions or grade it. Now, if I go and look at it as a student, and you can always do that by clicking on your name and switching your role. I'm going to switch my role to the student role. And so now I'm seeing the student view from the course. I'm going to go down to that assignment and click on that. What is a map? And it's telling me that the assignment details and submission form will be available from Wednesday 18th March. So note that I cannot see this assignment because it's not available as yet. I'm going to go back to my normal role and go back to the desktop. I'm going to go back into this assignment and note that I can also edit this from the assignment itself. So I'm going to go back and edit that setting and I'm just going to change the dates here so you can see what the students would see. I'm going to change instead of the 18th to the 16th of March so it should be now open for the students. Save and return to course and then I'm going to go back and switch my role to a student role 
and now I'm seeing the student role and I click on what is a map. Now that the assignment is open, I can see the assignment actually loading there. I see the picture, it tells me the information about the assignment, and then now it tells me I haven't attempted it yet, it's not been graded, and it tells me I can add the submission. So I can click the sub submit button, and it will ask me to upload the file, and then the student would upload the file, and myself as a teacher, I would see that file, and I could grade it from there. So that's how you add an assignment to the course, or that's how you edit an assignment in the course. Really quickly, I'm going to show you how you can um, how you can create a new one. I'll also show you uh, one quick other thing. Notice that uh, now that this is open. I see, I didn't see it before, but now that it is open as, a, as a, an instructor, I can still see it. You can select a setting that will allow you to see it every time you open it, whether the, whether the, um, the, the assignment is open or not, just by clicking Always Show This Description. If I click this, that means that once I go into it, whether the assignment is actually open or not, I, as the instructor, will always see it. So now, what if you want to create a new assignment? Basically, all you do is, again, turn editing on, and we would go to the Add an Activity or, or a Resource. Remember, whenever you want to add new content to your course, you always click here, and then you would just select Assignment. And Assignment is the very first one because it's the one that is most commonly used for assessments in Moodle. Note that it has a description here on what it's all about. Then you can click Add, and you will be taken to exactly the same page we saw before. And then you just go and fill out the information that you would have had previously. Then remember, whenever you're finished, always save and return to course. So let me just go back and review that. I'm going to cancel that out. If you want to add a new assignment, First, make sure turn editing on. It's on now, so I'm not going to click it. Scroll to um, add an activity or resource. I'm in week three, so I'm going to go to um, add an activity or resource. Select assignment. You can read through the description if you want. Then click add, and then you can fill in the information on your assignment. I hope that helps.